All right, so we're going to go over real quick how I prepare my images for use in Plane Maker. Um, so I've got here just a simple three view. All I did, uh, this isn't a project I'm working on, but I, I just did a quick Google search for airplane three view, and this was the first one that came up. So that's what we're going to use. It's a little handy that it also has dimensions on it. But So first thing I'm going to do, I'm pulling it right in here to GIMP. And... Uh, I'm going to grab my uh, rectangle crop tool. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to crop this. I hit shift plus a couple times to zoom in. And I'm going to crop this right in to the very edges of this first uh, thing here. So now that I've got it right in there, I'm just going to come up here to image and uh, crop to selection. There we go. Now uh, X-Plane works with the nose to your left so I'm gonna go to image and we should be able to rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Alright so that one is ready but while we're in here let's make sure that they all get scaled correctly. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna just drag that same image into my file again. On that I'm going to go to layer and I'll rotate that 90 degrees and then I'll grab this move tool and I'm going to move that. Actually, let's see. Oh you know what I didn't need to rotate it. Let's rotate that back real quick. And then again with the move Okay, now it looks like so we're scaled and I can even drop the opacity down real quick so we can see so we're scaled supposed to be matching here but it looks like it's just a hair off on this image so I'll go ahead and grab the scale tool click on that and we're just gonna scale it just till that tail reaches the edge there. And then hit scale. Back to my move tool. Okay, so we're uh, lining up pretty good there, it looks like. Bring that opacity up to 100. Oh, and we can come over here and just say scale it to a new layer like so so let's see this one here can go away and delete that okay so we've got the top we've got our side and on that layer we can even do a quick crop on that this time we'll go to the layer crop that layer to that selection okay go back to my three view again drag it in okay and this time we're looking at our front view we can go ahead and rotate this one like that we want to make sure that our wings line up for our scale I'd say that looks pretty good. So we can then grab our crop tool. You want to crop in as tight as you can on your aircraft, and we'll go to layer, crop to selection. 
All right, now, well, we've got them all scaled. Now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate each one of these. So we'll duplicate that one, duplicate this one, duplicate that one. Okay, now I'm going to hide the originals. And so now on this uh, top view that we're currently on, I'm going to take my crop tool again. Oh, I already the box was already there. It was okay. So now I'm going to crop right in to the very edges of the fuselage. All I want is the fuselage shape. And on that, go to layer and crop that to selection. Now I'll come down. Go ahead and hide that for a second. So now looking at our side view. I'm going to scoot this just back to the very back of the fuselage is all we're looking at here. I'm going to come right here to the front of that and just the top of the fuselage on that layer. Crop to selection. You can hide that and then on our top view here Get it in nice and tight on that fuselage. And then layer crop to selection. Okay, now what we want to do is each one of these layers needs to be exported on its own. And so this first one, since it takes up its whole space, we'll go file, export as, and uh, I'm going to export this. Let's see, let's just export as uh, actually, let's go PNG. I think uh, Plane Maker wants PNG if I remember right. And we're going to put it in our in our X Plane uh, folder so that X Plane can find it. So I've got, I just made a quick Piper Warrior uh, folder and I'm just going to drop the image right there and let's name it. So this is going to be top. Go ahead and export that. Okay, now we're going to go like this and we want to... Let's see, we want to shrink our canvas. So image should be able to fit canvas to layers. Oh, because it's still looking at all of them. So let's do, um, we can do our magic wand here. Select all the transparent and then invert that selection. And now if we go fit canvas to selection, Try that one more time. Okay, let's just do it the manual way. Grab this real quick. And then image, fit canvas to selection, file, export as. So now we're looking at top crop. And export. Okay, now we're going to go edit, undo that resize, jump to our next layer. Now we're going to adjust our our crop to fit that layer. Like so. An image, fit to selection, file, export as. This is going to be side. Edit, undo resize, go to our next one.
change our crop again. Image fit to selection file export. This one is side cropped. Undo. On to our next one. Canvas to selection, file, export. This will be front. Undo the resize. still have all our layers. Go ahead and save that file in case you ever need to come back to it. Um, I like to save it in my aircraft folder wherever I'm saving everything else just so I can find it. Okay, so we've got all our files. So now we jump into Plane Maker here. I've just got a new thing open. So let's say we want to bring in one of those images so we can go, say we need to look at our top view. So up top here we go background and top. Now we're looking straight down. And down here in the bottom corner, background bitmap. And we can go to rescan because I don't see it in my aircraft. Okay, so we go into that and we look at our top. Open that, and there it is. Now you need to adjust how that scale fits, and that's a simple zoom in and out with the plus and minus, and do it faster with shift and plus and minus. So you still need to set up the scale of your aircraft correct, and so you would go to standard and fuselage, and in the section panel, you would set this up. So right now, I mean, it's showing um, you're going from zero to nine feet, which uh, we know is not correct here on our on this. We're looking at uh, 23 feet nine inches or whatever. So you're you'd set this last one at say 23 something, and then uh, and so then you come back out here. So you notice it's kind of stretched and then you move your piece and then you use the plus and minus move your arrows until it fits just right like like so and then that's the same if you're standard and you go into fuselage here and you're looking at say your top and bottom here now this is where you would use so load top background bitmap and then this is where you would use that top cropped. You open that up and again with your plus and minus keys you will uh, adjust the zoom of that. And so in this view the closest you can get is uh, the fuselage from the very front to the very back. And so it makes it a little bit uh, tricky if your image doesn't quite fit in the window um, and so you'll have to kind of interpolate that a little bit this is just really kind of clunky to work with but uh, you adjust that your zoom as, as best you can with the plus and minus keys and uh, that's how I go about 
getting all my images ready for Plane Maker, and uh, I hope that is helpful.